um, comprehensive win today and the boys must be buzzing out the start of the season's gone so far. Yeah, I think that was a, a, a great performance again today. Um, took us a while to get the first goal, but like you say, positive, another result, clean sheet. Um, could have probably scored a couple more goals, but 4-0 again. Uh, it's a very conv convincing win in the end, so lads are chuffed, obviously. I think that's five league wins, is it? And one FA Cup win, so just got to try and take that forward into the next game, um, which will be on Saturday. Hopefully, yeah, they get another performance and another result. Obviously, um, crucial to go into the half-time break, when you're up. Obviously, you scored just before half-time, didn't you? Yeah, well, I thought first half, uh, we had large spells of possession, uh, and their keepers pulled off one or two, two great saves. Uh, one was put onto the post first half, and then I think he's pulled off two great saves from Millsy. Um, and then lucky to get the goal. Good, good ball from Edgy, he's chipped up to the bat stick and literally all I do is had to touch it in. So it's good to get that goal and then we came out second half and we dictated from the kickoff and, and obviously got another free goal. So. Have you found a partnership with, with Mills? Obviously you've got um, perhaps on the left side as well. Yeah, obviously um, Mills, you know, if the ball comes there, he's going to score. He worked very hard. Same with Pabs. Pabs deserved his goal today. He's terrific. His work rate and his performance in recent weeks deserve a goal as well. Um, and obviously, Custom, when he comes on, he, he provides a threat as well. So he, the four of us, who, I know obviously Pabs are playing on the left, we can all potentially chip in with the goals as long as we're all, all chipping in and playing well and scoring goals. Um, like I said, team performance, as long as the team's winning, we're happy. So. I suppose with the amount of goals Mills got last season, he's always going to grab the headlines. But so I suppose sometimes people forget that himself and Pabs got 20 plus goals as well last season. So you know where the back of the net is? No, yeah, well, that, that's, um, that's one of the best parts of the at times, I missed a few today to be fair, but he's going to score your goals and if it drops in the box and he drops two, that's the man who dropped it, you know he's going to uh, either fall put it in the back of the net or force a save. So, um, like you say, as long as we share around, as long as we can chip in with our fair share and the team's winning, like I said earlier, that's all, that's all fine, that's the positive thing. And nice for another clean sheet, I suppose, apart from them hitting the bar and had a chance near the end, can't remember too many chances in the end of the day. No, they didn't. Uh, so that little, little ball at the end, over the top, and then you put it over the bar and it hit the crossbar. Uh, again, the back four, excellent again today. I think that's uh, another clean sheet. I think that's four in a row in the league, or three in a row. So, obviously, again, we're happy with that. Um, so we can maintain clean sheets as long as we can score goals and win games. Uh, hopefully, by the end of the season, it'll, it'll, it'll be good and we'll, we'll be at the top end. And go back to the FA Cup next week. Obviously, the league's a priority, but it'd be nice to get a little cup run, if possible. Oh, massive. It's always, it's always one of the big, big things you look forward to every year, having a good cup run. Um, Obviously, the aim get like gets to get the first round and be involved and when the big teams come in, it's fantastic. Um, so we go away to Romulus. I think Romulus next week is on 3G. Um, it's one of those we, we train on it and we'll, we'll prepare right on Thursday uh, and we'll go into that game and hopefully get a positive result and go into that next round and hopefully have a good run. Is the, the, um, is the comeback against Elvetridge wet to the players' appetite a little bit? How that game finished? Yeah, it was obviously a great experience, that great feeling that game actually to be fair to turn it around. I mean, 2 0 down at half time and then come, on, come to win the game 4 2. It's one of those that you, you take that on to your next game. Obviously, we'll look back on that on Saturday and say, look, you got here, we got here after that performance. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll push on and hopefully get that result on Saturday. And how have you found yourself this season, um, like in pre-season in the first few games, in case of like finding a feed, how did you find your pre-season? Yeah, it was good, good. Worked hard in pre-season, everyone, everyone worked hard. Um, took it into the first first games, so you can see I think the fitness tells. We're, we're, we're a lot fitter than a lot of the teams we play against. Um, but yeah, didn't score many goals in pre-season personally, and I'm lucky to chip in a few goals now, so hopefully I can continue that. Um, but all around the team's putting a great performance again um, from, from start of the season all the way through. So as long as that, as long as that we maintain that, we'll be very hard to beat.